Hoy sí vas a hacer, hoy sí vas a hacer para... Welcome back to Labor Months, Detective 2. So, sorry, I was reading it and I and as I was doing my intro, I started reading it. It was weird. It's, it's weird stuff. But we're back. It's been a, a little bit since I played the game, but I really want to play some more. So, we're at the Spring Festival now. We're going to keep an eye out for stuff. We're going to have some fun. We're going to punch ducks in the face. All right? And it's going to be a fun time. All right? It's still early, but I'm... Already seeing some familiar faces. I guess everyone in town shows up to this thing, huh? Correct. This is a good opportunity. We must question everyone we can. I think you agree we would enjoy ourselves a little bit here? I can't blame you for wanting to do our job, though. Let's start talking to people. Exactly. Let's talk to our friends. I can't exactly... I think maybe that's the speed kid and the flower boy? I'm assuming. I don't know these guys or these guys. Oh no, that's probably the. I have no idea. But we're gonna we're gonna go to sp see flower guy. I knew it. Uh, Freaking, uh, I know what I'm doing. Springtime flowers. Uh, uh, May bring showers. Romance detective officer Chris. It's been a while. How have you been? I've 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 been good, dude. I'm good. Thank you for asking. Hi there. This is oh this is embarrassing. We never got your name, did we? It's Stefan. Are you enjoying the festival? As much as we can, we are currently investigating a case of utmost importance, but Roma's copying system relaxing here for a while. She insists. This is our first time coming to our beloved spring festival though, so I'd like to make her experience be as full as possible. Maybe you could quit reminding me of the impending doom we face every chance you get. I'm actually having fun as long as I'm, uh, I try not to think about that stuff, you know, the stuff about the moon and everything else, and you know, just... Uh, ah, yes, of course. Impending doom, huh? Being a policewoman and detective must be tough work. Me, as a flower salesman, rolls the shoulders. Here, take a sugar... Stefan. You know I love the sugar cookies. Even Is it shaped like a flower? Oh, it's Daisy. That's right, Speed Oak Id. Mmm, these are really good. I didn't see the cookie. They're homemade, right? It's my grandmother's recipe. They were my absolute favorite when I was little. I'm so happy to be able to share them at moments like events like these. I know. So nice. I can taste it. The love for your community. Baked into each bite. These are simply incredible. Roma's detective, you are so deep. Hey, you guys better not be ignoring me on purpose. My reformed adversary, romance thief. <sighs> You're so small. We must have overlooked you. I apologize. She's small and speedy. Hi there, Daisy. You weren't chasing tr You weren't causing trouble for poor Stefan again, aren't you? No way. We're even plutonic friends now. Right, Steffi? I don't know what plutonic friends means. Ha! Plut oh, platon- uh, Oh, it's pl platonic, alright, Daisy? Get your freaking words right. Haha, <laughs> platonic, yes! Here, Daisy here has been very helpful with setting up my love- My little love bloomery stand this morning. So nice. People are so nice in here! Sharing the love! Hiring a former criminal, the size of your heart must be immense. My respect for you doubles by the minute. Hey, hey, I respect him way more than you do. Wanna fight about it? You want me to throw some hands? I'll throw some hands. <laughs> Do that pencil. I'll throw some hands. I'll throw some hands with you. Sounds like you still have a crush on him after all. Nah, -uh, she's actually super boring once you get to know him. All he talks about is flowers and baking. I'm just friends with him because I feel bad for the guy, you know? He's just, just he, all he does is make flowers and bacon. It's just. Come on, make something a little like I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna have us on you guys, you know? Freaking solving crimes of love. She can be quite a handful, as you can see. Where are your parents, young lady? I wanna talk to them about your behavior. Ah, don't tell me. I'm being good. Don't send me to jail, you know? Freaking, it, it's called juvie. She's fled. I would normally chase her down, but alas, we must save our energy for what's to come. There you go, bring up the case again. We got plenty of daylight to spare, detective, all right? It doesn't do us any good to keep worrying about it right now. If you'd like to do something relaxing for a while, why not plant some flowers around town? That is what the festival is all about. 
We might, we might. You're absolutely right. Surely having a job to focus on will distract us from the unnecessary stressful thoughts. All right, let's go for... Uh, I'm not ready yet. I'm not ready yet either. That sounds wonderful, but I still want to look around before diving into a mini project like this. We'll come back in a few. Exactly. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna immerse myself a little bit. I wanna get some, some stuff that I, what I want to do. Sweet. Let's go talk to these guys. Oh, that's Sage and Narcisco. You talk to Sage and Narcisco, they give you food. Oh, sweet. There. See, I told you. I'm not saying we have to dump highlighters into the frosting mix, but. They'd have way more authentic as toxic cookies if we did. It's not illegal if it's in the name. Uh, Ivy, look who's here to arrest you. Because you're gonna poison the entire city of Love Bloom. You two again? I'm sticking to my guns. You're not taking me without a fight. Um, we're not here to arrest anyone, actually. We're here to relax and, you know, freaking jam it up. We're just enjoying the festival like regular civilians. Even though they're dressed like cops. It's weird. I thought I saw you two. Thanks again for your help the other day. Oh, Miss Bell. Don't mention it. Solving cases is like like that should expect be expected of us after all. Still, I'm so relieved these two girls were able to pull it all together on such a short notice. Our humble little stand was attracted so much extra attention thanks to Ivy's unique vision. My aesthetic is top notch. Of course, it make everyone want to come buy our goods. What kind of confectionaries, confections do you have available? I like to browse your selection. Brownies? 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 No toxic cookies though, I'm not gonna... Right this way, ma'am. Alright. Roma's Cop, I... Roma's Cop, I purchased this small heart-shaped cookie. I'd like you to have it. <sighs> Best couple. Best couple. Oh, detective! I love it! Ow! Well then, it's delicious too. Excellent, I seem to have chosen well. You did indeed, I almost taste the romance. All right, we'll go back and wait, can we talk to this? Plant a flower and make the world a little brighter. Oh, what a nice mess, that is such an romance cup. Same wavelength, dude. Every year, long fluent citizens are encouraged to participate, it brings us all together and makes our city more beautiful than before. What a fun little festival. I wish they had these kinds of events everywhere. Yeah, not in that bougie town that you lived in, Romance Cop. I would be curious to visit the city you grew up in. You always make it sound so... How should I put this? Different. Oh, it's not like that where I came from was bad or anything. It's just that Love Bloom is really, really nice compared to the dump of new... Brunswick. If every city is needed is indeed not as nice as Love Bloom, it appears we have much more work to do. But that is a matter for another day. Detective, I'm honestly scared of what happened if you went out to the real world. You're too innocent and naive. What? D what? What? It, 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 just because she grew up in Love Bloom and that's the only place she knew, doesn't mean that she went... That, what is Love Bloom not the real world? Jesus, romance cop. We're, we're splitting now. But I can't forget how tough you are either. As long as we're together, all the sadness in the world can't break us. Words to live by. All right, let's go back in. Yes, I'm ready to plant some flowers, my dudes. Yay, it looks so nice. Gardening is kind of fun. I always thought of making a hobby out of it. Yeah, but then copping came in the way. It's a very popular pastime in Love Bloom. You seem to have grown well accustomed to our city. Ha, huh, I guess I have. Everyone is so friendly. It's hard to imagine anyone couldn't get used to living here. You know, planting flowers, stopping crime, being weird, becoming a cop. What do you think of the festival, Romance Cop? It's, it's wonderful. If you said it could be better, I'm going to smack you in the face. Absolutely. I'm so happy we get to spend time like this together. Thank you, detective. Ah, no, thank you, Romance Cop. Yes, I feel the same. Canary is scheduled to perform soon. Should we begin heading in that direction? Yeah, let's go. Heck yes. We're gonna... Oh, we're gonna protect Canary with our dear old hearts, all right? My cousin, cuz, all right? You get to the stage area as Canary watches out, but someone else takes the microphone. You know who takes the microphone. There, it's the chief. It's the chief? Huh. There's the chief. Looks like we didn't have to worry about her after all. Attention citizens, this is your chief of police speaking. I'm sure you're aware the festival has to be shut down early due to public safety concerns. But I'm here to tell you that the matter has been taken 
Kara. What? There's no, no longer anything to worry about. Please continue to celebrate to your heart's content. Take it away, Canary. Uh huh. Was that the was the case already been solved? What a relief! I mean, I guess Cupid came through with for us after all. No, impossible. The case was solved without me. No, 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 no. I will revert time and go back. Um, what's important? Is everyone safe? Do you want to go ask the chief what happened? Yes, of course. She's really fired out. How cute! Yeah, but this whole thing is kind of suspicious. I have a feeling our work isn't done just yet. Aww, she evil! She evil! Chief, what is the meaning of this? You see the matter has already been taken care of? By whom? Me, of course, but there's no time to explain. I'm a very busy woman. She's been ta- She's been- Ah! 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 She's been- What is it even called? She's been- Mind basled! You're acting kind of weird, Chief. Can't you just tell us what happened with the roses? We're the foot soldiers here. We have to write the no. Everything's fine. Nothing to worry about. Just relax and enjoy the festival or... Uh, you're fired. Wow. Sound like Benson now. Ring, ring. Hello, what's that? Mordecai and Rigby are banned from using the house phone? Okay. <laughs> you're fired! This does not sound like one of your typical jokes. Yeah, because since I've been friends with you since freaking high school... Because I'm completely serious. If you keep going around worrying everyone, I have no choice but to take your away your badges. Jesus frick. Chief, what the fudge? That that went down really more than I expected it to. I don't like this. Maybe she's right. If everything's really okay. But the thing is, it's it's not. I'm, I'm calling it right now. I'm calling BS right now. We aren't doing good. any good warning people about danger that's already passed. If it has indeed passed, regardless, I do not wish to get you dismissed from a job you so love. We will follow her orders and continue enjoying the festival. You do always say we should trust people, right? Let's put our faith in the chief. Mm, 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 mm. Even if she is kind of acting strangely. With the world apparently saved, Canary sings in the sun sets. The, what? Wait a second! Thank you! Ha ha! I was gonna, I was, I swear to God, I was gonna, ho, 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 ho. I was gonna get real upset, all right? What? No. What is this? Stop everything. Ah, Cupid. Yes! It said the end and it really got me, it really worked up. I presume you come to tell us our work is not yet finished. There you go, sounding all excited again, Detective Frickin'. You, 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 you take too much into your job, which I like. For someone so concerned with keeping people out of danger, you sure are slacking off on the job. Yeah, what the flip? Guys, freaking, let's go. The chief announced a short while ago that the issue has been taken care of. Was she mistaken? You're obviously being misled. Of course there's a problem. A problem th this big wouldn't just magically disappear. As I thought, the, the, the case remains unsolved. We have work to do, Romance Cop. We shouldn't be sitting around watching the beautiful canary sing. You sound pleased with yourself. I know you wanted to be the one to solve it, but this is still bad for us, you know? Jesus Christ. Oh, 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 oh. Fans screaming for Canary more intensely than usual. Ah, ah, ah. See, look, it's already started. This kind of intensity is expected from one of Canary's concerts, right? No. Don't be so sure, Roma's Cop. Look closer. Yeah. Oh, that is so awesome. Oh, that is so awesome. Oh, that is a beautiful piece of artwork. I'll take you away. I can't bear to keep our relationship a secret any longer. Let's elope. Well then. Oh, okay. <laughs> this scene feels kind of familiar for some reason. Does it? I don't know. Romans Cop, we must keep you shielded from the moonlight. Before you end up like the others, because apparently you get you get freaking abducted like uh, like freaking. Oh yes, right. What the fudge? Oh, she's in. Oh, she's in my, oh she's in my lab coat because I was like, I the first thing I look at is her. I'm like, hmm, what is she wearing? And then I look over here. Romance cop, you look. Romance detective, you look good. All right. Oh, I missed that one. Oopsie doopsies. So what's the, what's the plan at this point? You're not going to keep standing around hoping everything solves itself, right? Of course not. Not, a, not 
Of course not. Unfortunately, we don't have any leads. Although, we do have one strange encounter this morning. Yeah, someone in what looked like a lab coat was hanging around Burnett's old workplace. I wish we could have caught up to... I swear to God, if it's Burnett... If it's Burnett... If it's freaking Burnett, I'm gonna... Really? There's no doubt that person is connected to what we're dealing with. And, like... We were being watched. So you got a mysterious stranger in a lab coat stalking you. I've heard crazier. Let us search the area. It's possible that we're being observed at this very moment. Oh, we are. I think that's your mom over there, detective. Oh! I swear to talk to Burnett. What are you doing? Mom! It's not even rainy outside. Oh, no. She's, oh, she's not being affected by the moonlight. Got it. Mother, what are you doing here? It's dangerous to be out in the moonlight. Yes, but I had to get a hold of you somehow. Besides, I came prepared. I have this. Romance umbra- The fudge is a romance umbrella. What a powerful name. You'll surely be protected as long as you hold on to that. Better than nothing, I guess. But why didn't you just use the radio to call us? I tried, but it didn't seem to be working. I felt something was wrong, so I came looking for you too. Well, was this a chief's doing too? How long has she been un under the rose's spell? Why do I feel- mm hmm Chief? We should- we should have noticed it sooner. But what's done is done. We have to move forward. What did you come here to tell us? Do you remember when I mentioned Rosemary had a child? I discovered she lives here in Love Bloom and her name is... Laundre? Laundre, why does that name sound familiar? Why do I feel like that's, a, that's the chief? It's the name of the artist from the gallery. What? All those rose paintings, it's no coincidence. What? What? If only we had more suspicious of all those paintings in the first place. In hindsight, it almost like she was asking to be found out. I s- Oh! Boy! This is absolutely unbelievable to think that the master of behind these crimes has also been the master of art. Oh my god, I'm gonna get a nosebleed! I have an address for you as well. It might not be of any use, but at least it's worth looking into. Yes! Mom, you are the best! Huh, this seems like we're walking into a trap, Detective. What should we do? We must go. Wherever it waits, we are completely prepared. After all, we are on the side of romantic justice. Oh, hmm. That's right. How could I forget? When Romance Cup and Rose de Detective work together, it's called Compacted Romance Doer and can't, uh, uh, can't Not Accomplish Anything. You two make such a great team. Good luck, girls. I believe in you. Yes! Thank you, Mother. Now let us make haste. Romance Cop to the climax. That is very weird. Unknown answers and it's your destinations. Let's go. I I I I want to see. I want to. I want to see. Dab 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 dab. <laughs> oh God. I'm pretty sure this is the right address. So I guess this is where the bad roses came from. Probably. Holy crap. The sinister Aurora. Aura. <laughs> Stupid. I'm certainly. F I'm certain we'll find lingerie. Laundry? Lean Dre? Lean Dre. Let's go with that. Or Laundre? Laundre? Laundre. We'll just go with laundry. Like laundry, but laundre. Within the greenhouse. And finally get the answers we sought. Sinister aura? That's just a dinky little greenhouse. But alright, let's go. Oh, it smells really nice in here. Don't let your guard there, Aromas Detective. Our super villain could reveal herself at any moment. Are you actually having fun right now, Detective? Because I admit, this turned out to be a, a pretty spectacular case, but... I knew it! Oh, no! Oh, my God! I swear to God! Please, Chief, what is your problem? You've been friends with me since freaking whatever! You don't have any, like, physical things, though. Evening, ladies. Chief, if you're here, that means you're definitely being controlled right now. Huh, <laughs> sorry I couldn't tell you the truth back at the festival. You would have sent everyone home, losing valuable research data for Landre. It was obvious something wasn't right with the way you were acting. We couldn't protect you from the roses once again. Oh, suck it! You've had ample time to notice I've been like this. But what Landre was said was right. As long as the two of you are wrapped up in an investigation, there won't be any room for me. We- Oh my god! We should include you in more events, Chief. We should. 
friendship is no match for romance. But with lingerie's roses, everyone will be equally co connected. That's not even funny, dude. We'll just spend more time with you. Chax! Oh, Chief! Were we making you feel lonely after all? Chief? Heather? That's her name. Just hold on. We're here to snap you out of this. To snap everyone out of their delusions. I wish you ladies you would just accept our new world. But if anyone can convince you, it'll be Lingerie herself. Go on. She's waiting just down those stairs. I am not gonna let it die. Right, right here, Chief. We'll set everything back to normal. And after that, I promise we'll make it up to you. We'll go out for dinner in our favorite cafe. Where is she? What does this beach look like? What is this? A underground laboratory? I admittedly a super cool uh, secret base. Ah, oh, wait, this is serious. Gotta stay focused. The display. There's what looks like to be live footage of the moon. They're monitoring the roses. You know, I actually, actually looking at it now, it feels like we're getting out romance covered, covering a romance symbol in a billion smaller romance symbols like this. I don't get what you just said, but okay. This isn't right. The mood is a perfect symbol of romance on its own. Can't they see that? That adding to it ruins the balance? Mother Nature? But it's because of us they ended up on there. On a one of billion chance fluke. That's why it falls on us to return to the moon to its natural romantic state. Show yourself, Landre. Oh! <laughs> oh, this is so good! Rose, I'm so glad you can finally make it here. Oh... Oh, I would have invited you here earlier, but I've just been so enjoying watching you two run around playing detective. Lingerie, at long last, our true adversary makes her appearance. Appearance, not appearance. You're the one responsible for everything that's happened. The crimes against romance happening around the world right now is all because of your roses. Crimes? My, what an un, what an awful word. I've never called them unbridled displays of passion. Ah, everyone bearing their souls together. Isn't it beautiful? It's enough to bring tears to my eyes. No, it's wrong no matter how I look at it. You sound really crazy, you know that, right? Oh, how feisty. I admire your taste in partners, Rose. Now, let's get down to business. To defeat the Huns. I suppose you must have questions for me, isn't that right? Uh, heck yeah we do! How is this even happening? Why are you doing this? How is this even happening? Okay, first things first, how did you get roses growing on the moon? I'm 100% sure it's scientifically impossible for anything to grow in space because there's no oxygen. Ah, uh, yes, they spread across the moon so fast. Didn't they? Our successful test run turned into so much more thanks to our, your plan with the rocket! Oh, I truly admire your boldness, especially you, Rose. I cannot thank you enough for expediting the project with that little twist of yours. Hey, that doesn't answer my question at all. G that plan was a mistake made out of desperation. I ex never expected it to turn out like this. But you're always finding new ways to spread our love. First through that smoke, then to the moon. You're absolutely brilliant. Aren't you listening? She wasn't trying to help your messed up cause. <laughs> Jesus! Hmm, hmm. But whether intentionally or otherwise, you feel compelled to aid my roses in ways you can't possibly fathom. Isn't that right? Could I have really been unconscious, un, 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 unconsciously furthering the spread of those vile flowers? Don't listen to her, detective. You're the one who wants to put the stop to this more than anyone. Or so she says. But deep down, which is it, Rose? You want to spread your romance as much as I do mine, isn't that right? Hmm, crisis here. Hmm, why are you doing this? Why? What is your true goal, Andre? What could you possibly be planning to do with this world overcome by desire? My mission is to revive my mother's dream, of course. I was born the way I am because I am her, because of her experience back then. My heart is just bursting with love, bursting with it. Of course, you can relate more than anyone. I was so happy to learn there was someone else just like me. I wish you were glad too. After all, we're the same, Rose. No, we are not. I am Romance Detective. Don't call me Rose. Not yet, anyway. What 
thing's for sure, you and the detective have nothing in common. You're completely opposites as far as I can tell. Oh, but we do match in one aspect. Tell me, Rose, why did you hide your beautiful eyes from the world? Why did you hide your beautiful eyes from the world, too? You look like you had your, glo your gloggles on. Goggles. Gloggles. Isn't it time you showed your dear partner your true colors? No! I already did! So, freaking frick off, dude. I've already shown her. Oh, how wonderful. From what I know, you're very sensitive about them. So this comes as a surprise. There's no need to be shiny Ro anymore, Rose. Hey, leave her alone! After we put a stop to you, I'm personally taking you straight to jail. Yo, I'm gonna take her straight to downtown. To my fist. Oh, so assertive. I can play that game. Mm-hmm. I won't cooperate until she removes those shades. I freaking hate you. I swear to God, if I stare right into her, I, I swear to God, when they pull, both pull out the glasses, they're going to stare each other's eyes, and then I'm going to get taken over or something like that. I hate that. You don't have to do that, detective. I'll make your talk. No, it's fine. There's no point in wearing these here. Yeah, but outside, completely. Yeah! Oh, shit. That's a girl, girl. Ah, they truly are beautiful. Now, I wonder why you'd be so against spreading that color throughout the world. Hmm, <laughs> that's because, of course, it is insult to true romance. <laughs> it's so weird seeing without her glasses, I swear to God. True romance? I'd love to hear more. You, you have to stop this, I swear to God. We may have the same eyes, but yours are blind to the truth. You're false. Love only leads to suffering. Suffering? What makes you say that? We've had a deal with all sorts of problems your roses cause, and it and that involved people with only temporary exposure. I don't want to imagine the nightmare the world would become if no one could control themselves. We have to prevent them from becoming reality. There seems to be a misunderstanding. Our roses are engineered to end suffering, not create it. Have you not observed what you wrought closely enough? Every one of your test subjects has gone themselves into undesired trouble. Oh, Rose, of course you've kept an eye on cases you've been solving along the way. Don't they all end up happier after giving up into the desires? No. <laughs> That's... You're wrong, Andre. Nobody likes being manipulated doing stuff they regret. They're not doing anyone any favors this way. Ah, uh, manipulation again. Your word choice is so harsh. Allow me to explain. We're using a power that brings out the deep romance potential in human's hearts. Potential is the key word here. It means any action a person takes under the spell is within the limits of what that person would normally do if they weren't restraining themselves. Then they're all acting on their innermost desires? Exactly! Think of these lovely flowers as offering you a powerful suggestion, giving you the courage to love openly, freely, and boundlessly. Imagine if the whole world could have that kind of love filling their hearts. Well, it would be a utopia, yes? But utopias become dystopias. No, society only functions because people show restraint. Everything will get thrown into anarchy and chaos if we let this continue. Oh dear, do you think I haven't thought this through? If things end up going badly for whatever reason, I do have an emergency shutdown switch in place. All right, Andre, I kind of respect you. You're kind of like, you're kind of like Dr. Doofenshmirtz. You have a self-destruct button. But the purse of a button the entire movie garden that have we've been hurt so hard on would be completely uprooted. What a shame that would be. You're saying we can just have to press that button in order to end this? Wait for her to explain. Push the button! Boop! Yes! Oh, so eager! But really, you should have held back a little longer. I was about to tell you there's also a password. If you don't enter the she- No! Oh, I thought if I let her explain, stuff will happen. The machine will self-destruct. I knew if it couldn't be that easy. You acted too hastily, Romance Cop. Damn it! Sorry, I just wanted to help. The clock is ticking, girls. There's still about 30 seconds to enter the password. Let's see if you can guess it. Oh, suck it. I, I don't know what's the password. Maybe I should have let her explain. Suck! Okay, um, let's just, um... Oh, no, I couldn't guess it in time. I didn't even put anything in! Get away from the machine, it's going to self-destruct! God damn it! I swear I'm... no. Boom! <sighs> ah, too bad. Now we're fully committed to the original plan. Fudge me, man. You should always let people explain. I hate... This game sucks, man. <laughs> There's only 1% chance of failure to begin with, so that was re... Add 
that bit of drama wasn't exciting. Oh, I'm gonna kill you. I, I don't care. I'm gonna kill you. I'm so sorry, detective. I didn't know this would happen. You did what you thought was right. There has to be another way to stop this. Stop this? Really now? Well, why would you want to do that? The fact that is you don't get is exactly what makes you so dangerous. It's true. You fooled yourself into thinking what is you're doing is right. That you alone have the solution to everyone's problems. The roses have blinded you. They're, they've blinded me, you say? Don't you see, Rose? My only desire is to bathe in the world of true love. How dare you? You don't know the meaning of true love. And you do? Yes, thanks to my partner, I've gotten to experience it. Your roses could have never matched this feeling. D detective, I shot. Damn, girl! Regardless, I'll just have to give you the proper taste of my love. Oh, 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 put on, put on the sweater. sweater. Moonlight is pouring in. Quickly, we have to get you covered away from here. Yes! Don't you dare. Strips? What? I'm so confused. Mm-hmm, you can't expect projects my... What? Progress, my dears. Shielding her from the moon's light at this point won't be enough. We have to try. Once a certain threshold has been crossed, the amount of exposure doesn't matter. Just because, because of course, by now, all of us are overflowing with the rose's power. What happened? Oh my god. Roma's cop, don't let it take control of you. I need you here. Detective, you don't have to worry. No! I never leave your side. No, your eyes are just like mine, which I, mm. You look good, girl, but it's bad. If only I let her explain, I swear to God, I, I, I'm so mad at myself. No, your eyes are, we match again. Isn't that wonderful, detective? You know, I just realized if the whole world is like this, you don't have to be shy anymore. I swear to God, Roman's cop, I'm gonna punch you in the face. Roman's cop, I'm sorry I, I have to do this. Punch her in the face. Oh, good, she handcuffs her, good. Good job, good work, like ya. Oh, detective, you should have told me before you were that you were into this kind of thing? Okay, weird. I promise I'll save you. Please hold on a little longer. Where are you going? I can't hold on to you if you walk away, detective. All right, freaking tank top girls out. Restraining your partner like that. I didn't think you'd go that far, Rose. How exciting. Is there another emergency sus down six? Please, you can't tell me that Roma's cup will be stuck like this forever. You don't have to worry, detective. I feel incredible. I'm starting to see Laundry's way of thinking. It'd be so wonderful to see the <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. I'm glad to see you come around, my dear. Are you convinced yet, Rose? Never. You'll never convince me. What's wrong? You look like you need a kiss. Oh, but I can't reach you. Why don't you come back over here, detective? I swear. <laughs> uh, snap out of it. You aren't yourself, Romance Cop. Oh, on the contrary. She's more herself than ever. These are her innermost desires speaking. Aren't they beautiful? No, this is not who she is. It's only a sick distortion. The true Chris is patient and understanding. She accepts others for who they are and has faith in even the most untrustworthy adversaries. So nice. And look what your roses have reduced her to. Those magnificent qualities have been lost to pure desire. But don't you see, my love? It's a single, a small price to pay to get rid of the harassed injustices of this world. I couldn't disagree with you more. You're saying you would rather continue to put on this full-on tragedies that you know everyone can live together in harmony and love? There's no truth to the so-called love you have enforced on this earth. I believe that there's no greater tragedy than to erase all but one emotion from humanity. But darling, I will not accept a world that takes away beauty of what comes to be human. Impossible, how can you, how can you continue to reject my love? Were we not born with the same eyes? How could you, how could our views be so fundamentally conflict? Because you become so fixated on an ideal that you are unable to see the truth, even when it's staring you in the face, my eyes. Ah, oh, detective, I can't take anymore. Uncuff me so I can smother you. Jesus, you, you need to calm down, romance cop. Has the way I've seen the world really been wrong all this time? Lingerie, you may be the only one who can stop this before things spire out of, further out of control. Please, all I want is for Chris to be whole again. Right now, she's just a slice. I don't like sliced people. You're in luck. I made a backup switch in case something went wrong with the, with the one your dear Chris made self-destruct. You'll press it, won't you? It's the right thing to do, isn't it? 
You just might be my voice of reason, Rose. Thank you. In lingerie, we can still find another way to fill your mother's dream. Exactly. In love bloom. You know? It may not be as easy as forcing your love on, on the world, but little by little, through kindness and patience, I believe we find ourselves in a true utopia, which is love bloom. Very nice. Yes, it is a nice thought. I believe in it too. Push the button, push the button, push the button. Yay, everything's up. Up, 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 rising. You did it, detective. Let me give you a victory smooch. Girl, you need to calm down for a second. Ah, uh, it seems the effects have taken some time to wear off. Take some time to wear off. How exactly do, you do those roses of yours work? Is she? Yay! Yay, she's back! Huh? Why am I handcuffed? Detective, what happened? What did I do? Roma's cop, thank goodness, you're back to normal. Oh, thank you! Jesus! Ah, oh, my memory's a little hazy. I didn't do anything weird, did I? Yeah, I mean... Well, we won't talk about that. No, it's all right now. We've won. Yay! I want to apologize. After what Rose said, I was finally understood why filling the world with pure desire was wrong. Huh? What'd you say to her, detective? I'll tell you later. It's... I'll summarize it for you later, Andre. Please continue. Thanks to you, I could finally see... I've been causing others pain and trying to create my ideal world. How could I have been so blind? Girl, all you're doing, you, you just gotta, you, it's good. <laughs> What's important is that you're able to admit that you're wrong. The only thing left to figure out is where you'll go from here. Yeah, no more putting seductive voices in people's heads to control them, I know. Is it the same? Yo, oh my god, is it her voice? Weird. Huh, wait a minute, the voice? What is it, Romance Cop? It looks like you've just realized something of grave importance. The voice I heard, it was different from lingerie's. Who, who, whose voice was it then? Huh, I need to go somewhere far away. Well, on it. Lingerie, stop, where are you going? Au revoir, my dears. I'll, this is the last you'll see of me. Hey, no, who's the voice? All the lights, there's only one exit to the stairs, Romance Cop. Are you kidding me? That's not even fair. Lingerie, you can't just leave after all that. We still have questions. Justice hasn't been served yet. She's gone. God. God damn it. So let's pick a direction and go after her. What are you waiting for, detective? Well, I'm sure this isn't the complete resolution you'd prefer. But we can't accept... Accept it for the time being? What? Huh? What about the voice? We'll solve the mystery another day, Roma's cop. Lingerie can, cannot evade us forever. Yeah, because, you know, she got red eyes. Anyway... But she has to, she has broken a bunch of laws. It's our duty to arrest her. She isn't dangerous anymore. I know it isn't very satisfying, but please, you know, just, you know, sh sh shut up for a little while. <laughs> Detective, what happened to never quitting until the case is truly solved? Never quitting. Never give up. It's not like you to just give up like this. I know, keeping up this character is taxing. All of this excitement, this drama, it's too much, even for me. What do you mean? I'm disap I've disappointed you, haven't I? I'm not as strong as I pretended to be, but you already knew that. All I want right now is to safely return home with you. We've saved the world. Isn't that enough? Ah, oh, we did, did we? We shouldn't put too much on our plates. I almost lost you, Ramos Cop. You would have been eternally entranced by the roses, and I would have been alone again in a world that could not hear reason. Detective, I'm grateful to Landre for deciding to end, it, end this herself. I sincerely believe that she's changed after coming face to face with the truth of what her roses wrought. And that's enough for me. It's been a long day. Let's, let's rest knowing that we've at least restored order to our world. I like her. Wait, where's the chief? Hey, Detective, are you hungry? We should have a little pizza party later. Then we get back to the station. You know, word of all of our hard work. Wait, Where, where's the, where's the chief? Good thinking, Romans Cop. That sounds wonderful. Ah, uh, what happened to her eye? <laughs> Planning a pizza party without consulting me? You're a loose cannon, Romance Cop. What happened to your eye? Chief, thank goodness you're back to your usual self. That I am. So are you going to tell me what happened to Lingerie? She escaped, but the situation is under control. Whoa, Rose, your eyes. Don't tell me you got they got you too. No, this is... They've always been this way. Ah, no kidding. That means everything's fine then? What a relief. I'm sorry I've hidden them from you all these years. I was afraid what you would think. Afraid of? You're the great romance detective. You two just saved the world, didn't you? Why would you worry about something as trivial as my opinion? 
I value our friendship. I realize my actions may not have supported that, but please, believe me. Ah, uh, speaking of that, Chief, are you okay? You said some stuff before. Yeah, once again, I'm truly sorry for what I said because of the moon roses? That feels ridiculous when I say it out loud. Anyway, I wanted to apologize. I didn't mean any of that. Please forget it. But we learned that any feelings brought out by the roses actually come from within you. Yeah, it's like deep feelings trapped inside. That's right, the roses take away any hesitation to act on your desires. In that case, in, in your case, it's allo you're, it allows you to speak your true feelings. Huh? Uh, huh? So that's how it is. Haha, <laughs> you sure? Heather, we had no idea how you felt. How can we call, your, how can we call ourselves your friend? No, it isn't such a big deal. It, it's, well, there's no use in denying it now. I may as well take some clarifications. I never wanted to bring any of that up. You two are always having so much fun. I don't want to get in the way of that, you know? The, I'll, I'll just stay at the station, you know, get punched in the eye a couple of times, arrest some dude that apologizes too much. I'm freaking Canadians. Don't tell the other cops, but you two are my favorite subordinates. I'm looking, all, all I'm looking is a nice <coughs> platonic relationship here. Haha, <laughs> telling you kind of feels this weird. I feel weak. No, don't feel weak, please. Heather, desperate. I need to get to the gym and box someone. She's a great girl. Chief, we understand. You don't have to say anything more. We'll work harder to not make you feel so left out on the time. Thanks, but really, just forget any of this ever happened. We don't have this conversation. Yeah, we didn't have it. Yeah, I don't have any insecurities or weakness. Nothing. I'm just freaking stone hard Heather. Understood, Chief. How about that pizza party? Yes, absolutely. You two must be tired from saving the day and all. Let's head back to the station. Job well done. It's a normal ending. What was the other ending? What? Wait! I got the normal ending apparently? There's other endings? I didn't know that. It ended so abruptly. I, I, I clicked it. I don't know if it was supposed to... What happened? I didn't get to see the pizza party. Bad mama jammas. Bad mama jammas. Alright, so that was Roma's Detective 2. I decided to kind of pull in and finish it all today. Or finish it all this right now. But, ah, oh, so wonderful. I wish, I wish it was a Roma's Detective 3. I love this. This is very nice. And I just realized I see all of the characters here. There's the lingerie, the chief. Oh, it's so very nice. My romantic duo is saved. Thank you all so much for joining this video. If you enjoy, press the like button with a new content. Don't subscribe for some more boss up content. And I will see you guys in the next video.